According to the results of the government-led study, Vietnam National Explosive Remnants of War Contamination Surveying and Mapping from 2010 to 2014, all 63 provinces and cities across the country were potentially contaminated, and provinces located in the central part of Vietnam are among those most affected. Landmines, cluster munitions from ERW, or explosive remnants of war, continue to pose a threat to the lives and livelihoods of the people. Land has been rendered unavailable for safe use, and the social economic development of the country have been hindered. Following the visit of the President of Korea to Vietnam in 2014, Korea announced that the Korea International Cooperation Agency, or COICA, would provide financial assistance for the remediation of landmines and ERW in Vietnam. In Vietnam, COICA is implementing the Korea-Vietnam Mine Action Project in Quangdin and Binding. This project applies an integrated, comprehensive approaches to mine action encompassing not only survey and clearance of mine UXO, but also the Vietnamese authorities' capacity building, data management, victim assistance, and mine risk awareness training. As we all know, sustainable development can only be achieved when the society, economy, and environment are in harmony. In this regard, uh, sustainable development in mine UXO contaminated areas is quite uh, constrained since local people in these areas cannot fully enjoy safe living environment and get involved in economic activities. Hence, the Mine Action Project uh, is indispensable for sustainable development in developing countries. Uh, in partnership with UNDP, COICA complies with uh, international standards in promoting the Korea-Vietnam Mine Action Project. The importance of mine action as an enabler for other critical interventions has also been underlined, and this is particularly important in the context of the humanitarian development peace nexus. This was highlighted during the recent open debate on mine action on 8 April, which was organized by the Vietnamese government when they assumed the presidency of the UN Security Council that month. It was a very important event and milestone, not only for the partnership between COICA and UNDP and the government of Vietnam, but for the entire global mine action sector. Over the past three and a half years, this collaboration has led to several high quality achievements in the Korea-Vietnam Mine Action Project. UNDP sees mine action as being critical for Agenda 2030 and the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. And here in Vietnam, the work is especially closely linked to SDG 16 with its emphasis on good governance, peace, justice, and human security. The Korea-Vietnam Mine Action Project, or KVMAB, aims to strengthen the governance and management of national mine action activities to promote human safety and development in contaminated areas. Under the KV map, 16,880 hectares has been surveyed and 9,086 hectares has been cleared. Positive changes on 9,000 hectares cleared areas under KV map by October 2021. Villagers and the residents have already been able to utilize the possibilities which newly cleared land offers. Capacity building workshops have been conducted for over 70 survey and clearance teams and 300 operators. Information management or IM is an integral part of any successful mine action project. In the KV map, all the survey and clearance data are uploaded into ArcGIS an Information Management System for Mine Action, or IMSMA. This data will provide necessary information for decision-making in the project and secures documentation and record management. 450,000 local community people in Quang Bing and Bing Ding are provided with Explosive Ordnance Risk Education, or EORE, to raise awareness and knowledge. 
School children in 113 primary schools and secondary schools in the project sites became EORE communicators for their peers and the community via game shows, EORE extracurriculum activities, first ever official and provincial level database on persons with disabilities and unexploded ordnance survivals established with potential for scale-up nationwide. A solid basis for explosive ordnance injury tracking system and the contribution to the disability sector as well. More than 1,000 EEO survivors received initial health screening for prosthetic devices and rehabilitation. 174 UXO survivors, including children, received prosthetic devices and surgery operation. Pilot innovation in prosthetic devices supported EEO survivors in Guangbing. About 450 EEO survivors were empowered economically to stabilize their life and fully participate in society. COVID-19 response packages of food, masks and hand sanitizers were distributed to more than 6,000 survivors from explosive ordnance accidents and their families in Guangbing and Bingdi provinces. With this project, we try our best to clear the land for people and make them feel safe to live in their lands. In partnership with UNDP, Kaika will continue to support the people of contaminated areas.